Hello YouTube, um, this is my next video and I'm, in this video I'm going to be talking about ebook readers. Now, um, right now probably you've heard of the iPad with the um, iBook store um, and you, there's also the Kindle and there's Sony ebook reader and there might be the Nook from Indigo I think that's coming out and then I recently I went to the bookstore and I saw Kobo, that's another ebook reader but the thing is, all of those ebook readers, whether it's the iPad or whatever, costs money. So if you have an EPUB file and you want to read it on your computer, what are some good alternatives, free alternatives, um, with which you can use to read that EPUB? When you, before you, we even get to the ebook reading part, I'm just going to show you a site where you can download a lot of um, books in the EPUB as well as a HTML format and that is from Project uh, Gutenberg here um, it contains a lot um, of free books uh, mainly classic books so maybe you want to read World of the Worlds so you just search that and here it is War of the Worlds you click it yes by HG Wells you can see the movie too um, well not here yeah, and here you see it has the EPUB format. Now there's also the HTML and plain text if you want to read it in those formats. Um, but what I'm interested in is the EPUB format. So what you do is you just go uh, download link and then there we go. But I'm not going to download this, it's just an example. But uh, there are a lot of, oh, I guess it downloaded, I, but there are a lot of um, books here that are all free. You can just search them up and it's good to go but say okay so say you found the EPUB format and you want to read the book what can you do so this is the first oh well, I guess yeah. this is the first example it's called Caliber I don't see any accents here so I assume that's how you say Caliber and it's free um, so it's on version 0 0.6.5.1 um, um, what it uh, when it opens looks like this and it's kind of the library um, for iBooks, but not um, not only does it let you read uh, iBooks, you can even send it devices. It actually has a lot of options. Um, but what I'm interested in here is just reading an iBook. So say I have an EPUB format of Frankenstein, and I want to view it. So all you do, press View. Um, after you drag it into here, um, it'll be in the library. So. Here it says the size, author, title, date, and here we go. So it's opening up the viewer and lots of options. So here it starts up and you can even enlarge it. I think, yeah, you can even go full screen. This is full screen. And you can change the font size. So you think, oh, this is too small. I want to make it bigger. Um, here we go. And you can start reading Frankenstein and it even bookmarks it so next time you open the book it will go to the part where you left off so for example say I was at uh, letter 4 and then I exited out uh, let's see press it again and exit and oh, somehow exit the whole application Yes, and you can. I didn't show you this before, but it does take a while to start up because I think it's more of a universal app, so it might work on PCs as well. So the interface isn't exactly the best. So I go here, view, and yet yeah, the view also takes a bit to uh, to start up, and it's loading. And here we go, letter four. Let me. Yeah, letter four here we are um, so this is one example but the alternative that I personally like better but it's in beta right now I show you before it's called stanza now I think this is on the iPhone yeah iPhone and iPod touch before and I think they're just starting it on the Macintosh um, platform and it's really really simple it's in beta right now but I think it's okay stable um, uh, it won't crash a lot on you I have it open, it's right here, Stanza. So I have this uh, ebook here that I want to read, so I just open Stanza. 
or I can just drag this to stanza and it loads the ebook. Very simple, it's not um, like a library for ebooks unlike Calibre and you can even go full screen, let me find it. Enter full screen and here you go, full screen. I personally like stanza more even though it's still in beta. It's very intuitive um, and the, the thing is it scrolls horizontally. So you, once you finish three or three columns, um, press it and it goes on and on. And it, yeah, it's pretty fast when it comes to scrolling. And it also saves your position. So say you were um, at chapter four, you quit this, and then you join it again, or you open it again, and it should go to chapter four. And it should increase, yeah, it also makes the text bigger, smaller, sets the font, background color, it also themes, uh, layout, so you can even have two columns if you want, so it's all uh, up to you. I personally like stanza a lot more than Calibre, but um, it, the, I'm just providing more choices, um, obviously you can add bookmarks, um, there are lots of tools here, though I think in, yeah, the preferences are fairly limited compared to Calibre's preferences. So um, I will leave both of the links in the sidebar. Um, Caliber, and you can see it's his website, Stanza's his website. Um, oh, I mean description, by the way, it's not sidebar anymore. But if I uh, do read the book, um, I'll probably give some thoughts in my blog, um, which I will also post a link to in the description. So um, just these two apps. Um, thanks for watching, YouTube.